The action happens right now on Mari. This man slept with his uncle's wife. I never accept your apology for what you did to me. Is Patrick or his uncle Wayne the father? <laughs> Dominique says her son is denied for one reason. His new girlfriend, Keisha. She's just mad because he's taking care of me and my son and not her child. But does his new girlfriend know he's been cheating? I've been with him a year. I just slept with him in June. So how was that? Oh. Yeah. Did he father this baby? Steven. Oh! This woman has no idea if her boyfriend or her boyfriend's stepbrother is the father. Jessica, you embarrassed? <laughs> Actually, a lot. What makes him think that he's a better man to take care of Evan than me? You had the right to be there, and you denied that right! Which brother is the father? <laughs> Keith denies her son for one reason. He don't make boys, he make girls. Only make girls! <laughs> Keith. <laughs> you know how Will anyone hear you are the father? Everyone, this is Dominique, and this is her ex-boyfriend, Steven, and his new girlfriend, Keisha. Now, you see... See, Dominique doesn't know which of these two people she hates more. Because, you see, Dominique says Keisha is the reason why Steven is denying he's the father of her five-month-old son, Don Terrius. Now, look at that child. How do you think Keisha and Steven Dominique? Watch. Dominique is an easy girl. We had sex the first night that we met. When she brought me home, there was already another man sleeping on her couch. When she came up pregnant, she tried to pin the baby on me. Dominique is nothing but a stalker. She's just mad because he's taking care of me and my son and not her child. Dominique was just jealous of what me and Keisha got. She keeps telling my girl Keisha lies, trying to ruin what we have together. Her and Steven were nothing but a three-night fling. She needs to stop interfering in our life and find her baby daddy. Dominique, I do not want a whore as a mother of any of my children. What do you think of that? She can kill first off, because she's standing in, in the back stage looking like a big ass man. And first you know all, what you did. That you knows know my baby daddy. And it was not no three nights because I just slept with him in June. So how was that three nights? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what he says? He says he didn't sleep with you. And not only that, she says he didn't sleep with he you. He brought her car to my house. Really? Well, I tell you, what we did, in addition, of course, to doing paternity tests, we did a lie detector test. <laughs> a raggedy ass blue car. Thank you. Let me get to you. been okay with being the father until Keisha came along. He was fine. He called me. He told me to send pictures to his father. His, his dad has a picture of my son. You telling people, you know, that's his grandson. Oh my God. Bitch, you and shut up. Right there. Me, so I'm gonna ask her to shut the hell up what and I'm talking to people. I'm grown, I'm grown, baby. I'm grown. So, when you I'm first grown. met Steve, cool? It was cool? We was cool all the way up until he got with this man looking. <laughs> you like a man! Who wearing a red wig? When you got pregnant, you told Steven, what was his reaction? Steven was happy. He came to the house, and this is the funny she part. He it. came to the house, I said, okay. I told him I was gonna take a pregnancy test for him. He wants to have sex before I take the test. Okay, we have sex. He tells me the pregnancy test is gonna automatically show a pregnant, well, positive because he just. What? Mind you, he got nine other kids. What? What idiot don't know how a woman body works? He got nine other kids, but he don't know how a woman get pregnant. Cheers. Cheers. Not nine nine cheers. kids. Well, ten, ten includes. Well, it would be eleven including mine and my neighbor. What? 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 All right, well, okay, so we might as well meet them. All right, they're going to come out here. Now, let me ask you this, Dominique. Hmm? Can you stay in that chair? Yeah. Huh? Don't come out of that chair.
Here are Stephen and Keisha. Here they are. Steve. Hey, excuse me, Mari. You ain't come never here. talked to me. Come here, come here. You, you never talked to me on the back. You were the holder that cussed out last time on the phone when you got to get on I there and get up in my business. Test. I tell you, you ain't told me like test. I said I ain't oh, talked to you. I ain't oh, talked to you. I ain't been sleeping with your man. You claim y'all been together for a year. By the way, Dominic, I didn't ask you. Do you want to be back with Steven? Steven can. I want to talk to Steven. Steven. What's up, baby? What's up, Mark? Steven. Yes, sir. You know Dominique. You've been with Dominique. More mm. than three times, mind you. Are mm. you the father of that child? Hell no. Why not? Pregnant and having this child until Keisha came along. No, I told her to have an abortion from day one. You think that child looks like you? No. Keisha. No, 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 no. Keisha. Thank you. Keisha. Keisha. I just like to know what your role is here. She, you know no what? Role. This is what's the killer. She more part of a man than what more. he is, as you can no, see by looks. She put me in it. <laughs> Well, baby, okay. I've been sleeping That's with him since don't January. Understand. We gave Dominique a How lot of the test. So we're going to find out the answers right now. Right now. <laughs> you were asked Stephen told you he was trying to get you pregnant on purpose. You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. You were asked if Stephen told you he loved you since he's been with Keisha. You said yes. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. This is why we still having sex. What you mean? Shut up. Had, listen to the results. Shut up. Listen to the results. Have you had sex? Listen to the results. Have you had sex with Stephen since he's been with Keisha? You said yes. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth Ooh. five times. Child. That's right. all I'm that's worried all about. But my thing is, my son is going to be five say, months old. When I call this man, son, if that's my son, yes. she ain't a part of that package. Stephen, will you take care of that child? Yes, I will. No. That's all I want to know. And now we'll find out. <laughs> When it comes to five-month-old Dontaria Stephen, you are the father. <laughs> now he has a chance. Can right? I please get a copy of that so I can tape it on my yeah. ass so both of them can kiss it, okay, please? Pa. Don't get drunk and go to the club. This is what happens when you get drunk and go to the club. You meet snaggatoo people like him, and you end up with somebody who's sleeping with somebody who looks more of a man than what they do. Actually, I'm going to put this on the back of my pants, and this is what he can do. Get a good view of it. She says her husband denies their son for one reason. He says no Mexican baby is born with blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> blonde hair, blue eyes, I'm not the father. And her mother is fed up. She's not 17 up. years old, is she? I'm not gonna shut up. When it comes to two-year-old Armani, <laughs> he denies her son for one reason. He don't make boys, he make girls. Oh, he make girls. Keith. I never accept your apology for what you did to me. This is Alicia. Now, just a few weeks after Alicia married her husband, Brandon, she found out she was pregnant. 
and they were both overjoyed until the baby was born. Because that's when Brandon, who is Hispanic, <laughs> took one look at blonde-haired, blue-eyed baby Armani and said, he didn't think he was the father. <laughs> Why would you deny him? Come on, look how beautiful that little boy is. And backstage, there's somebody backstage even angrier than you. Mm -hmm, my your, mother. Your mother, Mona. Yep. You're right. You're damn right. How dare you, you little bastard? Well, why is Mona? Because she's pissed off. He's going to listen to his family and his friends about, oh, he looks nothing like you. He's the mailman's or the milkman's or whatever. Come on. I know who my baby's daddy is. I don't need to lie about it. Okay. Man, if this is my baby, why you guys always say he's not? When he gets into a fight with me, he runs to his family, they put it in his head, and he comes back, and then he does the same thing over and over again. I see. But does he tell you he loves you? Yeah, I love him very much. He's my husband. We've been married for almost three years now. And I know he loves the baby, but he still has his doubts. And in order for us to move on and deal with this, I want him to find out the truth. Okay. Well, we'll find out the truth then. We'll find the truth So out. what's the big reason why he thinks he's not the father? Just because he hears people say it. Just because, like, our Is past... it all about the looks? Yes. He says no Mexican baby is born with blonde hair oh, and blue geez. eyes. I have never cheated on my oh, husband. He knows, he knows I've never cheated on him. He just thinks... Why would these friends make this up? He thinks that we got married what? so God, fast. We got married so fast. It's crazy. He thinks that since he got, we got married, we, we broke up, we got back together. Three days later, we got married because we were just being spontaneous. Three weeks later, we found out I'm pregnant. And then, like, well, you know what? I don't know what you did right before we got married. I'm like, come on. If, if it was somebody else's, trust me, I wouldn't tell you it's yours. I mean, come on. If I was going to pin it on somebody, I'd go find me a rich-ass guy with a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> really? This is what Brandon had to say, everybody. Me and my wife, Felicia, have been on and off for the last 10 years. When we're broken up, she's doing her thing, I'm doing my thing. How do I know if she slept with somebody else? She told me she didn't sleep with anybody else, but honestly, I think she's lying. How much more proof do I need when it comes out of her mouth? Alicia's mom needs to mind her own business. This is between me and my wife. She has nothing to do with it. She needs to stay out of it. Blonde hair, blue eyes, all you gotta do is look at him once and you can see I'm not the father. I love Alicia. We've been together since we were 14 years old. But if I find out today that he's not mine, I want a divorce. And especially to show her mom the real truth. Okay. Oh, the real truth. Here's Brandon. Brandon, come on out. Yeah, you're, say, you're saying that, but how, why is it every time we split up, oh, you're not his dad. Oh, I don't need money from you. you. I get his first. real dad. You said I said it, first, it, well, I said it one time, What's and then you said it gonna do? Time. What would you're everybody do time? in their lifetime? You want to f*** somebody off, you say what so, you well, want to you know say. Well, well, then you know what? Then we'll get the results. Well, of course, I'm going to say it back. I'm saying like I'm not going to be his dad. Sorry, of course I'm going to do that. Every time we split up, what do you and your family say? We don't need you. You ain't the father. I'm not pinning it on you. He's your f***ing dad. I'm a better parent than Oh, okay. I'm not. Yeah. Hey, Brandon. Wonderful. What's it like at home? This is some married couple here. <laughs> the thing is, look, I mean, I love her regardless. You do? Yeah. You love her. You're telling me this. Every you time when we split, when we split up, she's always saying. Well, let me ask you this. You've been married three years. Yeah. How many times you split up? I don't even know, man. I, I don't even know, boy. I couldn't. <laughs> then when, when I leave and I say you I, I want to see your my parents, son, your family, I say whoever. I want. I say I want to go see my son. What do you say? You're gonna see him, he ain't yours. Cause you said it first. You see your son much? Yeah, I see him all the time. When we're together, I see him, but when we're not together, she well, says, Well, wait a second, right now, are just, you all together or yes, not together? We're yeah. together. He's. He, we are together. How, that's what how would you know? That's what pisses me off. No, that's what pisses me off. I mean, like, I don't know if I'd wanna be in the same room together. with the two of you. <laughs> We live I mean, together, look, and you're going to say, well, they need to find out the real truth. You know what the real truth is. Regardless of what the results come out, I'm still his dad. 
I love the kid. I love him since he came out. She you say that. now. That's what you she say now, Brandon. She came out and said, I don't want to be a father to my Brandon, son. Brandon, man. Because, hey, you know what? It ain't none of your business. Brandon. Man, so why don't you stay out of it? Like That's I was what you son. say now. When it, if, if, if it came back, which to tell you the truth, for me, it's a win-win situation, dude. Because if you are, we can finally put it in your face and you can shut your damn mouth and so your people too. Why don't you but stay out of it, man? It's, your your daughter's 24 years old, not 17 years old, is she? child hear all this kind of stuff going yeah, on? Yeah, he really all does. All the time. A lot. Yeah, he does. Everybody, here's Mona. Here's Mona. <laughs> Maury, sorry. Wait, wait a second. Right. Mona. Mm -hmm. They're married. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> so you never approved of this? She, she was a, uh, over age. If I had the sign for her, she'd have never married him. I told her don't marry his ass. She Why? didn't listen. Why? What's wrong with I that? don't like him, first of all. I don't like him, period. Why he not? don't like me, and I don't like him. But I didn't marry you. I married your daughter, so it don't matter if you like me or not. <laughs> Mona. Yes. If this... If he is the father of this child, okay, we've got to take it down a notch here, right? There's no ifs, Maury. There's no ifs. No no Trust me. Told... Well, we'll see then. I well, we're going to find out right now, okay? <laughs> we'll find out. He bases DNA on a set of blue eyes. Boy, you're intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to two-year-old Armani, Brandon, are the father. Bring my son. 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 Bring my and make up. Seriously, what the hell? We're Listen going home make up. together. Yeah. Why are you like that? Nice kiss. You guys are having a nice that, kiss. Oh, that's so Look at what's man. You give, do you want to give him a nice kiss? Yes, but I want him to hug me and tell me I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you I wouldn't do that. Me. <laughs> yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Armani. It's cute. Mom, shush. Thank you. And this woman has no idea if her boyfriend or her boyfriend's stepbrother is the father. Jessica, you embarrassed? <laughs> Actually, a lot. What makes him think that he's a better man to take care of Evan than me? You had the right to be there, and you denied that right! Which brother is the father? <laughs> Keith denies her son for one reason. He don't make boys, he make girls. Oh, he make girls! Keith. The results are in. You are the father. This Father's Day, do something special for that man in your life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Thank you, thank you. Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. I never accept your apology for what you did to me. We have with us Jessica and her boyfriend Adam. Now, Jessica and Adam are praying that a paternity test proves that Adam is the father of their three year old son, Evan. Aww. 
Unfortunately, there is only one other man who could be Baby Evan's father, and that is Adam's stepbrother, Ricky. Oh, my God. This is Jessica and Adam's story. I'm here today because I have a three-year-old son named Evan, and I'm not sure who his father is. It could be between two stepbrothers, Adam and Ricky. I slept with them both within the same week. I know that was wrong, but I was young and I made a mistake. I did believe that it was Ricky at first. Because Jessica was so sure that Ricky was the father, I accepted it. As Evan gets older, I realize he looks a lot more like Adam. Ricky wasn't stepping up and being a father to Evan, so I made a decision to be there for him. Now everyone is saying Evan looks like me and is convincing me that he is my son. I'm currently with Adam and he is an amazing father to Evan. I want more than anything for this DNA test to say that Adam is Evan's father. <laughs> Jessica, you embarrassed? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Actually, a lot. You do a lot of things when you're young and, you know, stupid and it affects your life and you never realize how much it'll affect anybody else's. You knew they were stepbrothers. Yes. And so then you went from Adam to Rick. Yes. And you thought Ricky was the was I the really father. thought Ricky was. That's one reason why I stopped talking with Adam. So Adam, you were kind of the odd guy out in the beginning here because she thought Ricky was the father. Yeah. I mean, she didn't even assume, she didn't even think that I could be the father. Well, if that hurts so bad, how come you all end up together? Oh, I had left for a while, and then when Ricky and them started talking, I started hanging out with my brother. And then she saw me, and I saw Evan. And the whole time, through all the years, I've been keep hearing, before I even saw Evan again, I heard that Evan looked like me. His mama said that Evan looked like me. You and your brother get along? We haven't talked since all this has happened. How long has that been? A couple months. Before we meet Ricky, he had a different outlook on this. Watch. I'm really mad, and I'm sick of being lied to. Jessica told me I was Evan's father, and now she's changed her mind. Now she said that Adam's Evan's father, and that's not right. I think she did this because I didn't want to be with her, and Adam did. Jessica only looks out for herself, and it's ridiculous. Adam has now took the son I believe to be mine as his own. What makes him think that he's a better man to take care of Evan than me? Because of this situation, me and my brother are barely on speaking terms. Thanks to you, Jessica, that has all been thrown away because of your lies. All right, he's angry. Here's Ricky. You all haven't talked in a while, huh? That's right. Can you all make up? Oh, yeah, I love my brother. He's still my brother. You were lied to. By whom? By Jessica. Why? Because she claimed for the first two years that the child was mine. You knew what was going on. You knew what happened, and you were completely fine with that. And when I took you to court, you denied the paternity test. You got a tattoo? Yeah. What's it say? Evan. A big deal. You got a tattoo, and what have you done? What have you done? You ain't done a damn thing. I tried to help. You wouldn't even let my on oh. my You had yeah, the right. Mom, no, you me. had the right to be there. You had the right to be there. I gave you that right, and you denied that right. No, I did not. You had that chance. You lost it. You think it's your son? Hmm? You think that child's yours? You think that child favors you? Yeah. Adam, you think that child favors you? Yes. If you're not the father, you all gonna stay together? Yes. You yes. are? Yeah. When it comes to three-year-old Evan, Ricky, you are not the father. <laughs> when it comes to three-year-old Evan, Adam, you are the father. 
You're the step uncle. That's, right. That's what you are. That's fine. Okay? Yeah, that is fine. Adam, you want to say anything to your brother? Look, man, I'm sorry. Just, I love you. I'm going to be there for him, okay? Hey, I love you, man. We'll be back I'll right after this. Place. Thank you. I'm sorry. I apologize. You are going to be an uncle. I, I, I'm a grown adult. You know, I made a mistake when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, we are still part of a family. So, you know what I mean? Grow up and play the part. You couldn't be the daddy, be the damn uncle. <laughs> Keith denies her son for one reason. He don't make boys, he make girls. Oh, he make girls! Keith. <laughs> you the home. Yeah, you the home. Home. And this man slept with his uncle's wife. I'll never accept your apology for what you did to me. Is Patrick or his uncle Wayne the father? <laughs> you are the father. Get off my stage! I never accept your apology for what you did to me. Sheena met the man of her dreams when Keith came into her life. Now, together, they were on cloud nine. Then they discover that Sheena's pregnant. But all of a sudden, the happiness comes to an abrupt end when Sheena reveals that she was having a baby boy. You see, Keith truly believes he cannot make boys. <laughs> And that's when he began to accuse Sheena of cheating. Watch this. Keith promised me a fairy tale, and he played me for a fool. I thought we were going to have a perfect life together, but instead, I have a four-year-old with no father. When I first got pregnant, Keith was doing everything the right way. He was rubbing my feet. He was bringing me food. Anything I was asking for, he brought it. Keith asked to name my son after him, but then he didn't even sign a birth certificate. In four years, Keith has done a damn thing for my son. I've been doing everything by myself, and I'm sick and tired of it. When Maury reads you are the father, Keith's gonna make up the four years he missed out of my son's life. Now, did you all plan Nancy? We planned it. You he, planned it? We planned it. He told me we're going to have a baby together. He said we're going to have a baby together. I ain't together. planning nothing. That's what he's talking about. He said we're going to have a baby together and we're going to take care of We're going to be a family. No matter what, he's going to help me take care of it. But now he want to sit here and deny. Okay. What's this thing about him only making girls? Because he have three girls and he said he don't make boys. He make girls. Only make girls. <laughs> This is what Keith had to say. <laughs> I was a great boyfriend of Sheena. I would have done anything for her. One night, I was sitting at home waiting for Sheena. She didn't show up to noon the next day. Sheena came up pregnant after she told me she cheated on me. Even Sheena's own family says this not my baby. Sheena had the nerve to name her baby Keith Jr. after me. I never gave her permission to do that. The doctors told me the exact date when Sheena got pregnant. I looked at my calendar. I was at work that day. There's no way I'm the father of Keith Jr. When Maury reads, I'm not the father, I want my name back. She can name the baby John Doe, Jane Doe. I don't want my name back. All right, everybody, here's Keith. Keith, come on out. You're a black hoe. No, you're a black hoe. I would be proud to have a son. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't not you by her. No, not he by her. Angry. She ain't nothing but a black hoe. Keith, by the way, I've never, no, I've never heard that. I like you, cause I you bet don't you do know. nothing you for him. Not, hey, I don't do nothing for him, cause yeah, he ain't mine. He like ain't you. mine. You hey, like your you. old you. when you was four months pregnant, she said you cheated up on me. Keith, you Cause Keith. I never cheated on you. You cheated yeah. on me. Hey, hey, I was at work at the time. You can Boy, see. Well, you wasn't even working even then. Doc, I was working. No, you I was, how, how in the hell are you gonna tell Keith, me? Keith, back off. I want to talk. Talk to me first of all, Keith. I got a couple questions. You don't think that child looks like you? No. All I'm four lying, years. Right? All I'm four lying. years. You I'm haven't done what you done for him. 
Okay, what? you take care of your... What have you done Nothing, because he ain't I'm mine. Out. He ain't he is. Okay, we're going to see when Maury reads these Keith, test results. Keith, what else? You take care of your girls? Yes, I do. Man. I got three lovely girls. Do you believe that you can't make boys? <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, yeah, I do believe that. We're going to find out right now. <laughs> If this is yours, said, I, if, if this is yours, I'm sure you'll take care of it. I will take care of it. When it comes to four-year-old Keith Jr., Keith, you are the father. <laughs> That's all we need. Yeah. That's me tonight, okay? That so is that what you gonna do? Yeah, I'm you gonna help that. me take care of my son? Yeah, I'm gonna be a good father to him. Okay? And okay. that's what I want. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. Now you know. Now I know. I'm sorry, okay? And this man slept with his uncle's wife. Who's the father? I'm right the father of that baby. baby. I never accept your apology for what you did to me. Is Patrick or his uncle Wayne the father? The results are in. You are the father! <laughs> this Father's Day, do something special for that man in your life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. I never accept your apology for what you did to me. Everyone, this is Heather. Heather's 22. As you can tell, she's very upset. You see, she married a 42-year-old guy named Wayne. Now, their marriage fell apart and she fell into the arms of another man, Wayne's own nephew, Patrick. <laughs> then she finds out she's pregnant. Who's the father? This is her story. When Heather was 20 years old, she met, fell in love with, and married a 40-year-old man named Wayne. Wayne was always there for me from the first day I saw him. He was always a good husband and made sure I always had everything I needed. As time went on, our marriage started falling apart. With their relationship on the rocks, Heather found comfort in the arms of Wayne's 21-year-old nephew, Patrick. Patrick made me feel good when my marriage fell with Wayne. I knew it was wrong, but I did it anyway. But that didn't sit well with Wayne. When Wayne caught me kissing his nephew, Patrick, he was furious. Shortly after that, I found out I was pregnant. I <laughs> told Patrick, that I was pregnant and he said it wasn't his baby. He told me it was Wayne's baby. Today we have given paternity tests to both Wayne and his nephew Patrick, and we will find out who the father of Heather's baby is. Who do you think the father is? Patrick. You do? Yes. Who does Patrick think the baby's father is? Wayne. When you gave birth to your daughter, who was there at the hospital? My mom. Not either one of these guys. Patrick came two days later. Who do you want to be the father of this child? Patrick. Patrick is the father of this child. But who do you want to be the father? No, he's not. I am. Wayne. Wayne? Wayne. PJ, you I'm the father of that Wayne. baby. You'll never be nowhere, PJ. You're always on the run, always on the go. What about your new wife? Now, when she gets pregnant, you're going to run too. Well, Patrick and Wayne obviously are here, and we have given both men a paternity test. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the results, but now listen to how these two family members how their views on this situation differ completely. Watch. I slept with Heather knowing that she was still married to my uncle. I also know that I wasn't the only one in my family that was sleeping with her. It pisses me off knowing that Heather had sex with my own nephew. When Heather told me that she was pregnant, I let her know that that baby was not mine. She was sleeping with me and my uncle at the same time in a two-week period. Patrick needs to grow up and take responsibility for his actions. He knows and I know that baby is his, not mine. My Uncle Wayne told me I was not the father of Heather's baby. So I don't know why they're both trying to pin this baby on me. The fact of Patrick denying his own daughter makes me sick to my stomach. I know this baby ain't mine, but it might be my uncle's. We're going to meet Wayne in a minute first. 
Welcome Patrick to the show. Here's Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, why are you so mad at him? Because he don't know how to take responsibility of his actions. Patrick, whose child is that? It might be mine. When she says that she wants something from the child, she call me maybe once or twice every three months. I've got all my answer machines. I've got all, all my call logs. Right. She doesn't call me for nothing. If she was because mine... Because the only thing I want you to do is be in her life. I didn't have a father. Then why can't you call me? Patrick. Yeah. What do you think of your uncle? Well, I think my uncle, I think of him like a father figure. I mean, I wish we could work things out, which I know, <laughs> I know, I know he's not wanting Sorry. to, but at the same time, apology can't fix what, what's, what's broken. Now there's Wayne, okay? So um, we might as well welcome Wayne to the show. Here's Wayne. Wayne, come on out. <laughs> Oh, now you made a mistake? Yeah. Now you think you're guilty, huh? I knew I was huh? guilty. PJ, I took you to my way. I know. Who was always there for you? You. Wayne. Oh. Have a yes. seat. Have a seat. Have a seat right here. You want to be the father of this child? Uh, yes, I would love to be the father's child. And if I'm not the father's child, I'll tell you what. I will be that daddy. And that child will call me daddy. Right. You got that? I don't care if you're the father or not, PJ. It doesn't matter whether you're the birth father or not, you're going to take care of that child. Yeah. We're going to find out right now. When it comes to seven-month-old Summer, Patrick, you are not the father. I told you. I told you. I told you. Wayne, I told you. I apologize for what I did But I'll tell you what. I apologize to you. I said you're a kid. I but I'll never accept your apology for what you did to me. I know. And in my heart, As a man, you're I done apologize. with me and my family. You're done. I apologize. I, mean, I always love you as a family. All right. You don't be wrong. When it comes to seven month old Summer Wayne. <laughs> you are the father. Get off my stage. I never accept your apology for what you did to me. When Heather was 20 years old, she met, fell in love with, and married a 40-year-old man named Wayne. With their relationship on the rocks, Heather found comfort in the arms of Wayne's 21-year-old nephew, Patrick. When Wayne caught me kissing his nephew, Patrick, he was furious. Shortly after that, I found out I was pregnant. I told Patrick that I was pregnant, and he said it wasn't his baby. I slept with Heather, knowing that she was still married to my uncle. I also know that I wasn't the only one in my family that was sleeping with her. It pisses me off knowing that Heather had sex with my own nephew. When Heather told me that she was pregnant, I let her know that that baby was not mine. She was sleeping with me and my uncle at the same time in a two-week period. I'm going to find out right now. When it comes to seven-month-old Summer, Patrick, you are not the father. I told you. I told you. When it comes to seven-month-old Summer, Wayne, you are not. <laughs> now it's time to be honest. Tell me more. You guys are family here. I know. I love you, brother. I know, man. Come on. I'm sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. We shouldn't do this, man. I apologize. What? I only got one thing to say. Why? I wouldn't thank you. No, why me, man? Oh, boy. I know. What was the thing? You accept his apology? Please. Show respect to other people around here. You have any idea who it is? Yeah. 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 You want us to give him a pass? Not the fuck. <laughs>